Alright, hey guys. So, a couple days ago, I dropped a decent chunk of cash on four SIM incubation containers. I have watched videos on these bad boys, and I wanted to see how they would work for my first hog nose season. Well, first I messaged them to see if they wanted to do a business deal, um, where they sent me four of them and I would do a review on the products for them on YouTube, you know, and Facebook. I told them that could fetch them quite a few customers. Um, they politely declined, no big deal. Um, so I just ordered some anyway. Actually, <laughs> I ordered them before I got their answer back. But basically, two things turned me on to these boxes right off the bat. Um, well, three now. I mean, these are not, these are no joke. These are some solid containers. Uh, I'm going to put this down for one second. I got to get the elastic band off of the dividers. So, this is the uh, eggs don't touch the substrate type deal. You fill, you can fill the bottom up with water. Some people have been putting a sponge in there. Other people, oh, that's cool. The trays have handles. Very cool. Other people put vermiculite, perlite, whatever. So I'm going to put this back in there. Now, the, the thing I like right off the bat, that grid. Nothing is getting through that grid. None of my baby hogs. One of the biggest pains in my butt every time I'd hatch ball pythons was uh, they would get down in the substrate as soon as they came out. And... Um, every time they hatch, I mean, they're all, obviously they're covered in egg goo, so you gotta get in there, pull them out, clean them out, clean them up, you know, immediately. Their, their first interactions with you, the first day of their life, is you running them underwater to uh, clean them off. And, you know, I don't know, I think it could be kind of scarring for them. So, all right, three, let's see how I'm going to space this, three, three, that doesn't quite work. Well, I also got to see how big the eggs are. Second, they come with these dividers. So you put the eggs in there, um, this bottle of melatonin, pretend this is an egg, boom. That didn't work. Obviously, you're not going to be pushing it down as hard when the, <laughs> you're not going to be shoving eggs around. But now, that's not moving. Cool. You know? So, I'm going to give these guys a shot. I got four of them. Uh, that was $92 shipped. They are not cheap. They are not cheap at all. Um, but that is fine. So, this is my first initial out... Um, you know, my first initial reaction, I'm impressed. So, this is going to be my incubator. I'm going to go work on that probably right now. And honestly, with the thing that I'm using for my incubator, I could easily fit two more of those boxes in there. This is just a cooler. Um, when I upgrade next season, I'm probably going to get a... Uh, another wine fridge or something like that. I'm only expecting probably four clutches this season, so this works. Um, what I'll actually probably do is do that and put water bottles around the boxes. You know, put a jug of water in there or something, a gallon jug. Um, I know some people are like, well, what about the heat tape? You don't want to burr, 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 burr. I'm not using heat tape. Um, this is what I'm using. This is an incubator warehouse incu kit. So this is a thermostat. This is a proportional thermostat attached to four ceramic emitters. A get nice little gap there with a fan. Boom. So what I'm doing tonight, I'm going to cut this out with the new jigsaw I just bought, mount a piece of plexiglass. I will put a link in my description 
to a video that I actually got the idea from because I want to give BC Barker Creations the credit for the idea for this. So, uh, I will show you guys the incubator when I am done, but I wanted to show you guys, and then I'll also do a review on this product. This was $50. Now, originally, I mean, I drilled a hole in the side of this bad boy because I was going to run a heat tape or heat tape in there. It didn't have a drain plug. I'm going to fill that with foam insulation. Not even going to bother with it. I'm going to use this. So, BC Barker Creations used it for ball pythons. Ball pythons have are a lot, a lot more difficult to incubate than hog noses. Hog noses incubated about 78 to 80. So, this should be no problems doing this. But, uh, heck yeah. Actually, depending on how well this goes and how many clusters I'm expecting next season, I might just get two more of those boxes and just use this use this for as long as I can rather than spend more money on another incubator. I mean, I like building incubators, but there's no point in wasting money on building incubators when I don't have to. So that's it for now. I will show you guys another video later when I'm done with the incubator. Uh, my fiance is at her friend's house right now, so it's, it's by myself guy night for a while. And uh, I am going to go do guy stuff, build things. Listen to loud music. So that's it for now.